Good morning, welcome back everyone. We've all heard of using different exercises to exercise different sides of our brains. And so we're gonna focus on the right side today. So we have Anna here with Jolly Bird Studio who is going to show us yes. how to draw on the right side of your brain. So Hi. good morning. Good morning, thanks, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah we, so tell us what is drawing on the right side of your brain? So a lot of people use the left hemisphere of their brain to think quickly. We It's the dominant side mm -hmm. um, according to to Betty Edwards' book of drawing on the right side of the brain. Um, and so using the right side, it kind of slows down and um, helps you think about the lines and the shapes, whereas the left side will say, oh, that's a nose, that's an eye. So then you're just gonna draw the symbols that you know your brain already knows when actually say you're looking a different direction and the eye isn't shaped like a normal eye, you know? So your brain wants, your left side wants to draw like an eye, right? Yeah. And the right brain's gonna be like, wait, let's, Let's look at that shape again, you know? Okay. So we're gonna kind of tap into that side today. All right, perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna do a couple exercises, <laughs> correct? And so you're actually gonna have a workshop on drawing yes. on the right side of your brain. Yes. So are these the exercises that you can see yes. at the workshop? So I'm okay. trying to cram all, there's five exercises that kind of help you perceive. It's not even just learning to draw, anyone can learn how to draw, but it's learning how to perceive um, five different things. It would be line, um, and then spaces and relationships and then values, which would be shadows. Okay. And the last one is gestalt is how everything works together. Oh. So we're gonna start with line. Um, right. And okay. actually I'm gonna have you guys, I have this vase face exercise. If you look closely, you can kind of see a face. Mm -hmm. But then if you also look at the whole thing, it kind of looks like a vase. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna and have you guys draw. We have one with <laughs> half, half. half of it already <laughs> done. And so can you kind of explain what then we're doing? You have half of it done for us. Thank you for that. And then <laughs> what is uh, the other half that we'll be doing? So the other half, I want you guys to kind of think about what you're drawing and copy, like mirror the other side. And if you need to, you know, say forehead, nose, lips, um, and chin, um, and just kind of think about what you're drawing and see if you can get the shapes to come out. Um, the same. The same. And okay. sometimes you might have to stop and be like, your, your right hemisphere will kind of take over and look at the shapes for you. So that's kind of how it feels. So I want you okay. guys to try that exercise and see. So just draw it like the inverse of it so yes. the faces are facing each other. Yep, okay. exactly. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, before we started this, I said, I'm not very good at drawing. And then you said, anyone can anyone learn how can to learn do it. Anyone can learn how to draw, that's right. And just so when you're doing this, what are you thinking about? So like as oh, the no. expert, what are like <laughs> you okay. looking at? So I, I, what I'm looking at is I'm, I'm trying to help you guys get to the right hemisphere to kind of focus on the shapes. So like the left side's gonna think, okay, I can just draw, you know, a profile of a face. And then it is harder than it looks. So you have to kind of slow down and the right side's like, okay, let's not look at it as a face. Let's look at it as a line. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of, I saw you had to go back and that was your right saying, nope, that line isn't quite right. And so you got it and it looks really good. Oh, very cool. Okay, <laughs> yeah, cause like- Oh, you're done. I'm still <laughs> going. I'm still trying, okay? <laughs> okay, well this is what mine looks like. Like during it, I was just looking at it as a line, but then like once I got to the forehead, I was like, okay, this is a forehead and then mm -hmm. the eyes and then the nose. So like that kind of made it easier. It's not even but I am a beginner, <laughs> so we'll take it. So. Oh, no, okay, okay, I'm working on it still. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Okay, so oh, on okay. that note about focusing on the lines, um, another tool that we use uh, with beginners is, um, it's, it's like a grid. Okay. Have you heard of a grid method where you can, uh, this is very simplified, there's actually only four corners, um, but if you like put it on top, I brought one of my chicken paintings, I'll hold this up, and, uh, and if you look, um, it'll then you only divide your drawing into four pieces, which okay. breaks it down for your right hemisphere to just focus on the lines and the shapes instead of I'm going to draw a chicken, you know, draw a circle and a head oh, and yeah. two legs. No, you're going to draw, you know, the lines that you see there. Um, so well, that makes things easier. Yeah. 
So you both have a grid. Yes, Let's see I yours. do. I, I drew mine. This, this, uh, it's not great. They have a very <laughs> sloped forehead. Maybe I was doing a self-portrait. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my person has a forehead. They're like a cone head, you know, like the cartoon person. Uh, anyway, but yes, we have it. And I actually have heard of uh, the, the grid drawing before. Yes. I remember in art class we had to do that for something. Yeah, perfect. But right. okay, so we well, did this one. Us a grid here. Yes, I drew you both oh. a couple grids. Okay. So we're going to go on so the grid. Save a minute here. Mm -hmm. um, but first, I want you guys to, um, we're going to try something different, okay? So in order to kind of focus on line, I want you to trace out this chicken with this, with this uh, marker on this. Oh, um, on this? On the plastic, yes. Okay. Do you want me to take top and you take bottom, or? Oh, you just, uh, I'm cool with you yeah. doing the oh, whole thing. You, 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 you just get take to do, her. You get to do your own. So. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> we love that. Yes. You so. know, and while we were doing this one, I know she's tracing the chicken right now. Yes. While we were doing this one, what I found hard was that I would look at the curve mm -hmm. and go, okay, it's a curve. Like, I was thinking about it as if it was like directions, like, oh, it's a curve this way. Yes. Like, it's a curve to my left. And then I would want to draw it that way, but you have to go, no, but it's inverse. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you know what yes, I mean? So you're drawing the opposite. You're like mirroring it. Yes, so. but I would want to just like <laughs> follow it. Mm -hmm. And I found that I had at one point like kind of had to erase because I was like, okay, and now to the left. And then I was like, no, no it's, yes. it's the opposite. So go out. And that's to the, the right hemisphere right. saying, uh, let's go back and try that again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I definitely got that. I was like, yes. oh, wait, what? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to do the eye or not. No, you're fine. Okay. You go ahead and trace oh, your chicken trace real quick. Trace the chicken real quick. Yes. Okay. And now I'm going to have you try to look at the corner and then draw the lines. I wonder if oh. it, would it help if I turn it upside down? Because that's Maybe. a method to kind of <laughs> oh, make okay. your right focus on lines instead okay. of drawing it right side up. Yeah. That sounds complicated, but okay. just focus on this corner and you're going to just follow the lines. Perfect. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, this is it. the encouragement we all needed. Yeah, honestly. I don't know how much to do with the feet, so I'm just kind of going quick here. That's fine. And Whoop, no, wrong way. Okay, there, there. So the first Whoop. thing that we study in the book is the okay. line, which, very good. Um, which, and I had hers flip it upside down so you can focus uh, on the line. Okay, so then take this yes. upside down. Yes. Oh, and put it there. And then and put then it next to your paper. Draw the one. Yes. Yep, and then you're going to draw your chicken on your grid. Because so you're going to focus on the corner. When it's upside down, you don't see it as a chicken. You just see it as lines. Yes. So then instead of going, oh, yeah, that's beak, that's sense. foot, yep. you go yeah. curve here, curve there. Yep. Exactly. Oh, okay. look at that. Well, while we finish <laughs> this up, Anna, can you tell us where people can get more information about Jolly Bird Studio? Yes, so Jolly Bird Studio, I am located in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, um, in downtown, and I will be doing the course on Tuesday evenings from 4.30 to 6, and it's a six-week course, so it's every Tuesday. Um, and then you can buy tickets on my website at jollybirdstudio.com. And um, I love doing workshops, so there's always different workshops coming up on my website and on yeah. my Facebook page. So if you're interested in learning, just reach out to me. Okay, awesome. Well, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm even like halfway with this chicken. Look at these feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. Oh my gosh. You know, another cool thing about this grid is that after you're done drawing, you can check it to see how, oh. look at that. You did so good with those feet. Oh my gosh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it worked Oh, for it you. did work. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Oh, I'm going to finish this up. Jordan, do you want to show uh, this what is, you have This is what now? I have so far. I have half. I have half of a chicken. Okay. I'm a slow learner. My <laughs> teachers always knew that. Anyway, yeah, okay. Honestly. So we, we got it there. But yeah, this is great. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, Sorry yeah, we couldn't absolutely. get through all of them. But That's you okay. can if you go to her class. Yeah, absolutely. All right, coming up on today's show, we have Cooking with Cashway.